I'm not going to read all of it, but bear with me. Matthew 13, 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hid in a field. I don't know about any of you, but as kids or even now, you find something I've seen those mining shows and they're looking for gold and then they end up buying the whole field or the whole land or a bunch of acres just to they're gambling they're hoping that there's more gold there they're hoping that there's more something or um, I know brother Matt and sister Juana like to go shopping and um, sister Becca we like to find deals my mom every all of us we love to find deals with clothing or anything anything and everything and it's exciting but how much more exciting is discovering something so much more real? Woo. Someone so much more real, amen? Yeah. Not that we, we can't see him, but we can feel him. And, and to know that our lives are changing, that we're changing. Yeah. I know Sister Nancy is so much more different now than she was yeah. when she first got here. Right. Even, yeah. even 10, 15 years ago, yeah. there's a difference. Sister Becca, there's a difference because we want to make such a change because we there's something different. And again, it's it's like a treasure. But it's hid in a field. We have to seek out this treasure. Deals and things, and even at stores, they don't just pop up at you. Sometimes at Walmart, I was there today, and they have big yellow clearance tags. And that's like, oh, yep, that's where I'm going. I'm going right there. But sometimes it's not like that. Like this, the treasure, the kingdom of heaven is hid. Yeah. It's not something that there's a big tag on it. Right. No. We have to seek out, but yet the Lord yeah. gives us steps. He instructs us and helps us find this great treasure. So by repenting of our sins, being baptized in Jesus' name, which is in Acts 2.38. So if we can jump there real quick, Acts 2.38. Some of you already know this. It says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. The gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And that is such a great gift. Yes. But again, there's things that we have to do in order to get that gift. Right. We can go to Acts 4, chapter 4. And I'm going to read, so if you can just follow along. Chapter, or chapter 4, verse 1. I'm going to continue to read. And as they spake unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold unto the next day, for it was now even tide. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of men was about 5,000. Peter preaches to the Sanhedrin. And it came to pass on the, mor on the morrow, that their rulers and elders and scribes and Annas 
the high priest, and Caiaphas, Caiaphas, and John, and Alexander, and as many as were of the kindred of the high priests were gathered together at Jerusalem. So they're all there, and Peter is preaching, and he's sharing the word of God. But they weren't happy about it. All these priests, they were not happy about it. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent, which is the helpless man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye be crucified, or whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand there, stand here before you whole. Mm -hmm. So here, you crucified him, but yet he was raised from the dead and he's standing before you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the stone which was set at naught of ye builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other. There, for there is none other un name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And then the Sanhedrin here, they command Peter not to preach. Okay? So now, 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. All right. Mm. And beholding the man, which was healed, standing with them, they could say nothing against it. So they saw this. They saw this miracle happen, and they couldn't say anything. That's what I'm asking of the Lord. I want, we need our families and friends, and there's people that need to see. So I'm going to explain more in, in throughout, but the Holy Ghost isn't just for us. The Holy Ghost is for the unbelievers to see. Right. To see that there's something so much more real than what we're telling them. 15. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to the, these men? For they, for, excuse me, for that indeed a notable miracle hath been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. Hallelujah. But that it spread no further among the people, let us straight, straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in, his, in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto, unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God, to hearken unto the men, or to you more than unto God, judge ye. For we cannot but speak the things that we have seen and heard. All right. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing, how they uh -huh. might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God yes. for what or for that which was done. For the man was above 40 years old, of whom this miracle of healing was showed. Thank you, Jesus. So now this part gets a little bit more exciting. So then, um, and being let go, so Peter and John, they went back to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And they heard, and when they heard that, they lifted up their voices to God with one accord and uh -huh. said, Lord, thou art God, which yeah. has made heaven Hallelujah. and earth and the sea and all that oh, in them yeah. is. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his, his Christ. For of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate and the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together. For to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servants. Jesus. 
Jesus, that with all boldness they may speak thy word, by stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that the signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus, that when they had prayed, the place was shaken, where, where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. They were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own. But they had all things common. Yes. We have to agree. Yes. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked, for as many as were possessors of lands and houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold, and laid them down at the apostles' feet, and distribution was made unto every man according he had need, as he had need. And Joseph, Hosus? who by the apostles was surnamed Barnabas, which is being interpreted the son of consolation, a Levite, and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and bought, brought the money, and laid it at the apostles' feet. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sorry. I hope, I hope it was making a little bit of sense as we were reading that. Amen. Um, amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, Peter preaches. He is ex saying all these great things, doing all these great things with the help of the Lord, and miracles are happening. Um, the uh, chief, chief priests and the apostles are trying to, to keep them down, trying to keep them from spreading the word of Jesus. And they don't want this to happen. They don't want no one else to hear of this miracle that was taking place. But there's nothing that they could do because they witnessed it themselves. Right. They saw it. Yeah. So there's nothing that they could have done. Right. And then here, I love how it says that they, Peter and John, they went back to their own, their own, in, um, they went back to their own company. Yeah. And they went back and they told them what happened and all they did was rejoice in one mind, in one accord, in one believing, one belief, uh -huh. one everything. They knew oh, yeah. the truth. Yeah. They knew that they were victorious yeah. and yeah. that they were blessed by the Lord. Hallelujah. This was a miracle that they were, they were held down and they weren't put to jail. This was a miracle, a blessing of God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So exciting. And yet, here these people, they're, they know that there's something good, and yet they're going to sell all that they have and give it. Yep. Sell yep. all that they oh, had and put yes. it at their feet. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Again, the treasure is ours. Right. It is ours. We just have to seek. We have to search. Yeah. 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 Come on. Oh, Lord. Either if you have the Holy Ghost or if you are desperately searching for it, it's available. It's, it is available to you. Yep. Being here is is a big step. Mm -hmm. Repenting and, and being baptized in Jesus' name, that's another big step. And then searching him even more, whether you get the Holy Ghost immediately coming out of that water or before you're baptized. Because I, I know someone that, some people that have gotten the Holy Ghost before they were baptized because the Lord knows their heart. Thank you, Lord. But there's things that, that the Lord, he, there's instructions that he gives us in order for us to attain this treasure. Thank you, Lord. So once you're filled with the amazing, the amazing gift of the Holy Ghost, you have to treasure it. That's not it. I know Minister Brock was searching and Sister Eric, they wanted the Holy Ghost so desperately. And so, so bad. They, they searched and they yearned for it. They prayed and they fought and they read and they prayed and they worshipped. And it wasn't until they were perfectly ready, that exact moment, when their hearts were in a perfect place, where the Lord, can, he said, yes, now. You have sought me and long enough. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And it's not just something to just, oh, I have it now. Yay. Thank you, Jesus. And then just go on. This is, you have to treasure it again. Treasure it. Yeah. 
Thank you, Lord. If we go back to Matthew 13, 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field, the which, when a man hath found, he hideth. So hide it. But don't keep it secret. <laughs> hide it in your heart. Treasure it. Exercise it. Amen. Again, this, this isn't something just for us. It's for those that don't believe, for those that have not seen, but yet wonder, what in the world is this? What in the world? What in the world? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. His mercy and grace, joy and peace, getting more and more of Jesus. Amen. Getting more and more of him while we still can. We have to be so full of him. You don't have to be. You don't have to be. But it is so much greater to be so much full of him. So full of him. Amen. That, that feeling that just overflowing greatness. Words can't even describe. They can't even describe that feeling that that. Oh, not even just a feeling, just a consuming power, amen, of the Holy Ghost, swelling inside of you, but coming out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, again, we have to exercise this gift. We have to exercise it daily. Yes. Daily. Oh, hallelujah. Every day. Amen. I'm, we're going to jump to Acts 2-4. Acts 2, 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Yes. So I know there's a lot of people that don't believe in speaking in tongues, but if I'm going to live by the Bible and the Bible says it, that everybody in the Bible yeah. was filled with the Holy Ghost, that the Lord yeah. used was That's filled right. with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. First step into wait on tables had to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Right. Yeah. To wait tables, he had to, they had to be filled. Come on, fill. Jesus, I'm here waiting on the Lord. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Acts 13:52. There's no 52 there. Oh, yeah, there is. There is. There is. <laughs> it, got, it, was, it was separated. Sorry. <laughs> My apologies. Acts 13, 52. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Ghost. All right. Amen. Sure. So being filled with the Holy Ghost is not just, it's not something that, that bogs you down. It's not something that that is confusing. It's not something that is sad. It's not something that that even though you cry, some people may cry. It's for joy. It's for the understanding, amen. And we're going to go into the understanding because we may not know specifically word for word what's coming out of our mouth, but praying for the understanding of the Spirit. Yes. Oh, oh, Jesus. There's so much more of being of speaking in tongues and being filled with the Holy Ghost. Than, than just coming out, than just the evidence of it. So much more. 1 Corinthians 14, 2. Mm -hmm. I got a bunch of little things here. 1 Corinthians 14, 2. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. Yeah. For no man understandeth him, howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Mm. 
fourteen four. He that speaketh is an unknown tongue in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. <laughs> We're gonna stop there and jump to thirteen. Wherefore let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. Jump back to Matthew 13, 44, once more. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in the field, the which, when a man hath found, he hideth. And for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Withholding nothing. Discovering Jesus, discovering the word and the truth and the realness of it, the changes that are made, not just by self, but by the help of the Lord, there is no way for us to be better without the help of the Lord. Yeah. We can make New Year's resolutions and, and try to be better, but for the most part, we fail. For the most part, those because we want to make such a big change and yeah. and we say, okay, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and I'm not gonna do that and this and then all these things and a week, maybe two weeks, maybe a month if you're real good. We fail. These things don't work because they're unrealistic. But with the Lord and yeah. making and making yeah. small changes and being realistic and not just jumping fully head on but again if we do that the Lord is going to catch you so it's okay but again to pace yourselves to to be encouraged by the Lord and to experience new things every day to learn a little bit more every day not say I'm going to read the Bible in two months like <laughs> I told pastor because I read three really big books um I think within a couple months, and I'm like, oh, the Bible's a lot less than that. I'm going to read it. There's not going to be a problem. And he's like, well, maybe try for a year. I was like, no, oh, Pastor, I got it. I got it. I'm going to be able to do it. Well, <laughs> the Bible is a lot more intense. The Bible is a lot more jam-packed with realness, with living experiences and, and things that in order to understand, we have to apply it to ourselves, and not just to forget about it, but to re remember it and to relive it and to and to learn from it. Not to relive everything that happens in the Bible, but to learn from the stories in here. That's right. Amen. Being full of joy, having found Jesus and experiencing Him, we hide it in our hearts. So hide Him, hide that joy, hide that. That love that that it can't be taken out, right. that it can't be just taken from someone else by something that happens, or don't let anyone else or any other circumstance be able to steal this from you. Right. The Holy Ghost is yours. Jesus Lord. is yours. The Amen. joy is yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. Thank you, right. Jesus. That's what it means to hide it, to hide it, and not let it be taken away. Hallelujah. But also to share it. Yes. Jump to Psalms 119.11. 119.11. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Yes. Oh. Daily we sin. We sin. There's no getting away from it. Well, knowing the word and experiencing him the way that we do, we run from sinning. But yet, even the thoughts 
that we can't help but to think at times that just pop in our heads or just crazy things. But that's where after being baptized in Jesus' name and being able to ask for forgiveness and knowing that he died for a purpose, Lord, Jesus, that we could be forgiven, full of grace and mercy and love. Hallelujah. Hide the word in your heart that we might not sin against him. We are able to discover the endless possibilities of the Lord by repenting in baptism in Jesus' name and being filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Praying, but not just praying in English or your first language, what you're comfortable with, but praying in tongues. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Jesus. No one else can understand. Hallelujah. No one else can understand. And at times, I, I can't even think of words to say, like, what my heart is feeling, what I need to pour out into the Lord. And, and that gift of the Holy Ghost to just, oh, it's just so consuming and just great and amazing and powerful. And, oh, it's so wonderful to be able to do that and pour everything out that I can't even describe inside of myself. That we have that treasure to speak, to, to communicate with him direct. Yes. Oh, that only he can understand a holy language. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We are equipped with the great this greatness. He provides us all with what we need to be victorious in all that we do. Yeah. It's possible to be, victor be victorious. But in some things, they may not work out. But... So much is tested. So much is strengthened in our testing. Yeah, yeah. So much is built with learning. In everything that we go through, please, everything you go through, please learn from it. That it doesn't happen again. And there's, there could be circumstances or situations that may, may come up again to, to reassure you and let you know that, yeah, I did learn from it. And I did pass that test before. And I'm going to be tested again, but you know what? That's okay. Because I got the victory over it. And I'm going to let the devil know that I got the victory over it. I'm going to let myself know that I got the victory over it. Jesus already knows. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are worthy. He is so great and he loves us so much. Trials, we think, Lord, why? Why are all these things <laughs> happening? So much chaos oh. and just, just, oh. But there's so much to be learned. Right. He loves us so much because problems actually bring us closer to him. Right. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Right. They bring us closer, and he loves us and trusts us that much right. to say, okay, I know <laughs> I'm going to give you this. I know you're going to go through that, but I know also you may be low at your lowest point, but that's where I know you're going to come to me. Yes. I love you so much, and my arms are always open to you. Just come to me. That's all he wants is for us to come to him, to speak to him, to love him, to learn more of him, to hide his word in our hearts. That we sin, that we do not sin against him. Yeah. Jesus, because when we sin, we're apart from him. Because he has no part of sin. Oh, Jesus. But he loves us so much that he died for our sins. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He is so good to us. So with the process, with a process, a slow process, a progression, a progress, a progressing process. Yeah. <laughs> Give up all you have. Right. Everything that means nothing. Right. Everything of this world, because we're not we're not taking anything with Come us. Come on! Right? Right. Hallelujah. Nothing is coming with us. Right. So sell all you have. Give oh, it up. That's good. And lay everything at his feet. Right. All the profit that you get from giving it all up. Give it to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Jesus that you can while you still can search him while you can love him while you can and find him because he is there he's always there always there oh I love that that the footprints um, I know they put it on a lot of frames and things Every time I read that, I cry. Because there's so many times I know we all feel alone. Yeah. We're so, we feel just like, yeah. Lord, where are you? Yeah. Come on. Go ahead. Like, I never left. Oh, I never left. I carry you. I'm carrying you now. I'm carrying you right now. And yet you can't feel me because you're so angry, because you're so consumed in the things around you, the problems, the chaos. But I'm right here. Thank you, Jesus. In Jeremiah 29, 13. I'm going to read 12 and 13. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me. Yes. When ye shall search for me with all your heart. Yes. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Sell all those yes, things. Get rid of all those things. Right. And again, don't just drop it all quickly. Because even if you think it's done, it's gone, you may have a map, as Pastor said. And you're going to hide the map and know exactly where to go to get the map. And then the key is there. And you're going to pick all that stuff up again. But be realistic and be progressive a slow process, a realistic right. process with the help of the Lord. All of these changes, Hallelujah. searching him with all your heart. Yep. Come on. In Mark 16, Mark 16, 15 mm. through 18. Okay. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. <laughs> so again, you have to hide his word in your heart. Hide and keep him close. Speaking in tongues daily and practicing that and asking him for that understanding and speaking and praying and worshiping him, speaking in tongues with that great treasure, treasuring it. Oh, not taking it for granted, but right. treasuring it. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. It's the closest feeling that we could have. in our experience with the Lord is to him being inside oh, totally being inside of you that it stirs up everything and you feel it physically you could feel him physically and then to speak out to worship him in the language that he has spoken through you this Holy Spirit this Holy Tongues this yes. language hallelujah Jesus Oh, so powerful. Yes. Greatness. Oh. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, hey. yeah. but he that believeth not shall be damned. Mm. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Yeah. In my name they shall cast out devils. In his name, in Jesus' name. Yeah. Repenting and being baptized in Jesus' name and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost and reading his word and praying and speaking in tongues always and loving him and learning more on him and knowing what is biblical and what is not.
to know what is Jesus and what is not, what is Satan and what is man and what is this and what is that. Knowing and believing and, and having him trust in you to be put out in a place. Pastor isn't going to send out just anyone to go. I know this, we were called, this person is demon possessed. Sister Erica, go. If pastor says you're ready, you're ready. And you command in Jesus' name and he will give you that strength. He will give you that authority, that power. Because he dwells in us. That Holy Spirit just comes out. Amen. Amen. Jesus, that we can cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, they shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. We have this power. We have this authority, and yes. He is living inside of us. But we have to make this change. We have to seek Him out. This isn't a game. This is nothing to take lightly. It's nothing to say, okay, praise the Lord. I'm coming to church Wednesdays and Sundays. We get too comfortable. It's easy to get comfortable. Thank you, Jesus. For the yeah. trials. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping us on our toes. Thank you, Jesus, for trusting in me and for knowing uh, how much I can handle, yeah. how much we can all bear. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come this on. is such an amazing experience, such a, yeah. oh, a greater glory for him because everything that we do in his name is for him. Speaking in tongues is for him, to him. Yeah. But it edifies us. Yeah. It strengthens us. Yeah. Oh, God. It's purifying. Oh, oh Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Emptying your mind of all the thoughts of all the day. Yeah, oh, worshiping him helps us. It, 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 oh my gosh, it propels us, my yes. Jesus. Yes. It propels us into that. Man. And when you find it hard at times, if you have the gift of the Holy Ghost, it's it may be hard, but it may not be hard. Just to worship him, be like, Lord, oh, if there's a song that touches your heart, like fill me up, Sister Felicia likes that song. Yeah. That song blesses me, amen. And to fill me up, God, fill me up. Yeah. I want to be so full of you, Jesus. And start to speak in tongues and clear your mind of everything else but to picture yourself at the feet of Jesus yeah. speaking to him that only you and him can understand. Yeah. Because speaking in words and, and with English and any other language, I, I picture the devil's right there next to me listening. Yeah. And if there's anything that I say wrong or anything that I say, like anything else, I, I it's like he's going to jump at it. You know, almost like He's waiting for me to, to say something. Because there's times I say things, and I need them, but then to think, okay, do I really want this? Do I really want the testing of it? Lord, give me the strength for it. But if speaking in tongues is totally, it's a code just to the Lord. It's a, 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 a language that only he can understand. That I don't have to worry about saying something wrongly or not even just um not oh. wrong but um it not, not making sense in a way or just any type of anything when i try to pour out my heart because i don't understand my whole heart come on there's part of our hearts that we don't even understand so to try and cry out and say lord i want this but what is it exactly that i want i don't know i can't explain it all i can't make it out of words jesus but to speak in tongues, that gift that he has given us, yes. to seek out that treasure in the field. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I would sell all that I have that is not beneficial, all that I have that is harmful. Jesus, I give it to you, Lord. We have to give it to him. Sell it all. Oh, Jesus. And buy everything of Jesus that you can. Buy it all. Oh, hallelujah. I may not be rich in this life, in this physical life, in this world, 
Come on. Oh, but I am rich in my yeah. spirit. Yes. I am rich in Jesus. so many experiences and so many answered prayers and so much healing and so much oh wow. life yeah. how can I go a day without it how can we go a day without discovering something new something right. that we didn't know right. about Jesus Amen. Oh. and then to even pray and to speak to him he speaks back. He's not yes. a silent God. Come on. He's not, <laughs> say it. He is not a silent God. At times he may be quiet. He may. Yes. But that's another test. What are we going to do? Are you going to say, okay, you're not talking to me, so I'm done. I'm just going to be quiet too. Or are you going to stand up? Are you going to get louder? Are you going to get bolder? Yes. Are you going to command him? Command ye me. Oh. Jesus. Oh, I love him. I love him and I'm falling more in love with him every day. All right. And I pray you do the same. Speaking in tongues is just another way, another tool that he has given us. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. To become closer to him. Yeah. And to bear each struggle a little better. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That every trial we become greater and stronger. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. His glory will be shown and experienced to where no one can deny his power and majesty. Be the person at your job that someone else needs you to be. Be that Bible that they Amen. need you to be. Be the only Jesus that they're going to see. Right. Let them see him in you. I'm not saying go to, to going to work or going to the grocery store or going anywhere just just speaking in tongues all crazy and you know because that turns some that could turn people off that's a little much but to live your life to where they know something's different about you there's something different yes i want to be that difference i want to yes. be the change and it's jesus living in me that makes it all possible oh, hallelujah i love you all Uh, to praise him because he is worthy yes. and he is amazing and he is so great. Yes. He is merciful. Uh, he is yes. just yes. full of grace. Yes. Yes. Miracles, signs and believe, signs and miracles follow them that believe. Yes. So let's believe one mind and one accord. Hallelujah. Speak it in tongues together. Yes. Oh, Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh my God, oh my God. How great would it be for a prayer service or a worship service or for something for everyone to just start speaking in tongues, to just yeah. lose themselves fully and completely yeah. and given oh. everything that they have to Jesus. Yeah. Speaking yeah. in such a holy language. Yeah. What could happen? Hallelujah. Would the Lord meet us? Where two or three are gathered in his name, yeah, yeah, yeah. he is in the midst. Yeah. And speaking in tongues, the Holy Ghost, he is coming outside. Of, he's inside and coming out. He will be here. He's here right now. Yeah. But his majesty and his glory and healing and miracles. Just imagine. Oh, imagine. We have the capabilities, the experiences. 
is ours, we just have to step out. We just have to continually seek him and praise him and love him. Experience him in every way. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Pastor, do you want to come up with you? Want to be to pray? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, amen. If we could all stand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, so much. So much for your word. For everything that you have brought For speaking through these lips, Lord. Because I am nothing, Lord. But you have created everything in me. You have created everything, Lord. We thank you so much. And we praise you for your glory. For the power that you have instilled in us, Lord. For the authority, Lord, Jesus, that you have placed in us, Father. We ask that you help us, Lord, to absorb this word. To consume, to chew on it, Lord. And to... To remember everything that you have said, then Lord, that every time we come and worship together, that we just Hallelujah. step out just a little bit more and just speak in tongues Hallelujah. to you a little bit more every day, to read a little bit more every day, to change and be better, Lord. Realistic change, a progressive change, Lord, for your glory. We love you, we thank you, we praise you, Lord, for everyone here in this place, for them making the sacrifice, Lord, as we love you so much, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for your love for us. Bless us tonight. Protect us all on our way home. In Jesus' Hallelujah. mighty name we pray. Amen.